Let's take what you just learned in that Khan Academy video about equivalent ratios and apply it to a ratio table now. It's the same thing you were doing, it's just now these numbers are in a table. Now remember, if you didn't finish your IXL and get a teacher signature, make sure you do that before you continue. Otherwise, get your packet out and a pencil ready to go. So we are talking about a mocha frappuccino recipe. I love that drink from Starbucks. So um, we want to make sure that we are making the correct ratio when they have that drink, right? They have to have so many cups of ice to cups of the mocha flavor that they put in there. And so that this shows the ratio of that. And we're going to use the original ratio at the beginning here to complete the rest of the table um, and then be able to answer questions about it later on in the next video. So let's talk about this first one. So we got seven and five. Now I'm not going to look at the seven and five up and down together. I'm going to look across um, because that's really the connection we want to see. So for example, I want to see how do I get from five to 15 here? Because however I got there um, with these two numbers is how I'm going to need to fill out this missing number here, kind of like what you did in your IXL. So um, I noticed that from 5 to 15, if I look right there, um, it is times 3. So we're looking right across here um, to see that we're doing 5 times 3 to get 15. So if we did times 3 there, we're going to have to do times 3 here as well. So we need to do 7 times 3 to get 21. Okay, so that helps us fill in that missing number. Now, when I go on to the next part, okay, I can't just necessarily add seven or add five because it's jumping, right? It's not necessarily going in in uh, in order, right? Like this was times three. It wasn't just like it was seven, then 14, then 21, et cetera, et cetera. That's what it's doing, but we wanna make sure that we're seeing, okay, what is it jumping up to? So like, it wasn't just times two, it's times three. So let's go ahead and compare the seven and 35 to see, okay, well, how did I get from seven to 35? Because then I'll do the same thing to the five. So if you look, we are going from um, seven to 35 by doing times five. There we go, couldn't get to show up. Um, so we're going from seven to 35 by doing that times five. And so that means we need to also take 5 times 5 to get our missing number here, which would be 25. Okay, so it, you notice how I drew those arrows? That could be helpful to you as you keep going. I'm not going to continue to draw those because it gets kind of messy, but if you would like to, you're more than welcome to. So again, we want to look and see what we already have. So I don't know this number, so I can't use the 7, but I do know the 30, so I'm going to use the 5 to help. So I need to go from 5 to 30. So 5 times what gives you 30? Well, it would be times 6. So we're going to do 7 times 6 to get 42. Now, if you need to use multiplication chart or something to help you out, feel free. But let's figure out these last two numbers. So if I'm looking at the 40 here, that's in the row with the 5. So I'm going to use the 5 to help me, not the 7. So we need to think 5 times what gives us 40. That would be times 8. So we need to take 7 times 8 to get 56. And our last missing number, we're going to use the 7 to help because we know the 77 here, which is in the 7 row. So 7 times 11, we get a 77. So 5 times 11 gives us 50, excuse me, 55. So those are our missing numbers, which can be helpful later when we start to answer questions about them. So you have an optional IXL this time. I know you've done two IXLs already that you had to do. This is an optional one if you would like a little more help with ratio tables before you go on to your quick check. Um, if you feel like you know how to do these because you know your equivalent ratios, great. Go straight to the quick check and go ahead and fill in the table and get your teacher signature right down here. But if you would like a little bit of practice, feel free to do that. Um, you could always do the quick check and then maybe try the practice afterwards if you'd like to. Um, your choice, it's there as needed for you, okay? Good luck. Make sure you get a teacher signature on this quick check, though, at some point, okay? You can do it.